Hello and welcome people of the internet. Today we have a bit different video than the usual. And um, let me actually just start by showing you this. If you look here at the bottom of my laptop, which is still Asus ROG G100 750JZ, you can see that I increased the space by using this simple I don't know what I would call them really and uh, it works rather well now the reason for doing that is because I actually modded my laptop now by modded I mean I actually went and drilled a hole underneath here and underneath here so the fans from GPU and CPU can drain more air now in result what does that actually do for you is if we go and look at the temperatures let me just fix the exposure real quick if we go and look at the temperatures you can see that they are actually really really low now they may seem normal to you and nothing out of ordinary but what if I told you that before doing this they would be hovering about 50 or 60 right now and right now they're actually about like 37 39 and this is not even a cold boot mind you and by cold boot I mean when you plug on your PC after being offline for a few hours so everything can really cool down this is actually being on for about an hour almost 45 minutes and it's like this I have some programs running like uh, Sony Vegas I also have some uh, things on Chrome going on and the temperatures as you can see are really really low also in result to this actually I don't think I can show you that right now oh I, in fact I do the GPU is also running real low I mean right now yeah it's showing 47 48 but it's only because the Vegas is running and it's using GPU for acceleration but I'll also show you a different clip that I recorded yesterday it has a tad lower quality but you should still see the point where I actually show you the game temperatures and everything and all in all this mod works pretty damn well all the info I already had said in that video so I'm not gonna repeat myself twice but I just decided to make this video first before doing that one and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to ask me as you will hear again in the second video I recorded yesterday and uh, yeah now on to the next video hello YouTube and welcome today I'm going to show you a different video this is a Witcher 3 running on my G750 JZ still, not giving up on this bad boy. And recently I basically did a mod on this laptop, which is first, you can see the width is quite increased. Now the reason for doing this is because I actually wanted to mod it and the way I did this mod is you probably cannot see it from here, I'll show you a photo of it later. Over here, under the laptop, there is actually a hole that I made through this uh, material. And the same on this side. Now the reason for these things is the airflow is now increased. Because as you knew from before, the actual intake was from this keyboard and from the bottom of the screen. But now, besides this, it also gets the air from the bottom of the laptop. So if you use a cooler right now, I guess you would see even a bigger increase or decrease, that is, in the temperatures. On the screen, you can see Witcher 3. And uh, my apologies, if I show you the settings real quick, it's in German, but I'm not German. Don't ask me why I'm playing in German. Uh, you can see that the settings besides the NVIDIA ones are ultra every single one is on ultra this is Witcher 3 
running on Windows 7 using the latest NVIDIA drivers. The post processing, well, it doesn't even matter, only sharpening is on low, everything else is used. And the reason I'm running Witcher 3 is, well, because it's quite a demanding game. And I also want to show you how well it performs. Now, the best part, before I show you the information up there, this laptop, I don't know how much you know about it, but considering you're watching this video, you probably know quite a bit and want to know more. It's running quite hot. It's using Haswell for Intel, and it's using Kepler for the GPU. Now, as I'm seeing on the camera, everything is overblown in white proportions. Let me just try to show you this. This is uh, HV info. Shows you the basic info like temperature is usage. Now, it's been running, if this would focus. Oh my god, could you focus? Thank you, about an hour. So in one hour, the maximum CPU reach was 59. On cold boot, that means the moment I turn the laptop on and do nothing, the CPU is hovering about 38 degrees Celsius. As you can see here from the minimum values, this is like the average it hovers about, which is insane. Right now it's like 53, 51, 51, 49. You may think, okay, that's slow, but kind of high. Yes, but what... I didn't show you that it's actually overclocked. It's clocked at 3.4 on cache and core clocks. Now, if I were to put this back to 3.0 or 3.2 with minus 75 voltage, these temperatures would be even 10 degrees lower. So first of all, that's already an insane drop of temperatures. Now, the Witcher 3 is still running, I just all tapped and look at the temperatures, they're already dropping, it's insane. Now, the second best thing the GPU, I actually have it overclocked right now, plus 100 on mm, millivolt, and on core clock plus 100, on memory plus 500. This is using the latest NVIDIA drivers, 391.01. And uh, the voltage is 1075 millivolt. I'm using a custom bias uh, given to me by a user on volt ground which actually uses the minimum voltage of 975 millivolts and if I use that the minimum I mean the average temperature on GPU doesn't reach 80 degrees and with this overclock it reaches about 85 on average now right it's hovering about 80 and now the best thing about everything is if you hear to the sound of the fans They are super quiet. Why does it go on for? It's super quiet. And if I wanted to, I could actually use the notebook fan control to decrease the sound even more. But as things are right now, it's ridiculously quiet. And I fucking love it. And I'm actually copying some files on my uh, drives as well. So the CPU is being used even more, but the temperatures are just so crazy low. Like, look at these temperatures. The CPU doesn't reach 60 and I can tell you for a fact that if you play low demanding low low demanding games I guess your CPU nor GPU will even reach 50 I was playing Hearthstone for like an hour and the CPU or CPU or C <laughs> my apologies the CPU or the GPU didn't reach 50 degrees Celsius and look at this overclocked and look at these temperatures ridiculous low and this is absolutely insane mod. I should have done it before. And uh, the CPU and the GPU were repasted using Calabrium Liquid Ultra with uh, this bad boy. And uh, I also used some, I don't know if I have it on my table actually to show it. I'd rather not move my camera because the table is a mess right now as it was still in the process of being moved. Oh yeah, I found it. And the uh, this turbo paste, Jellic Extreme. I also had some uh, Arctic Silver, but yeah, I used the Jellic solutions for the VRAM clocks. I mean, the VRAM blocks and uh, capacitors on the GPU. And for everything else, I used a thermal compound thermal uh, pads 
from Arctic as well because I don't like to clean up the mess. And yeah, like the temperatures, if you look at them, they're still low. And I've been running this game for what 20 minutes now, and the temperatures are still really, really low. This is with the overclock and with the stock fan control speeds. And I'm just so excited to show you this because it's absolutely insane how good this is. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments below. I'll try to answer as best as I can. And I'll till the next time.